Hey guys, uh, welcome to Unfiltered Consciousness, uh, a channel that helps you get out of the reincarnation cycle. Uh, it's been a while since I spoke. I've been all over the place, Paris, Aix-en-Provence in the south of France, uh, deciding where to live actually for the next year or so. Uh, Aix-en-Provence in the south is, is fantastic. Uh, it's a lot cheaper, but there's not many people who practice bhakti yoga there. So if I went there, I'd be kind of on a solo project. Anyway, I thought of you and you, you know, the few <laughs> loyal fans I have uh, or followers so-called on YouTube who like my videos, who get inspired by them. So I thought, man, I have a duty to, to say something. So I thought, okay, what's the thing I can share with you for the last, you know, that happened in my life for the last two weeks? And, and there's one thing that I want to talk to you about. And that is what's the, the constant thing that's been in my life for the last two weeks and also 27 <laughs> years. But specifically in the last two weeks, in the context of a very, very, very um, uh, changing kind of atmosphere, as I said, like I don't have a, a place, I'm staying here at my friend's place, Lorenz, who's a, an old friend with whom we used to uh, do missionary work in, in different parts of France, passing out uh, different sacred texts of ancient India, like the Bhagavad Gita, which I always speak about in this video, um, I mean, on, on this channel. So one thing that I've been doing regardless of whether I was here or there, not knowing, not knowing where I'm going to like, you know, establish my roots for the next year or so, was uh, and is chanting, doing mantra meditation. Here, I'm going to come closer here. And uh, as you can see, this is, this is, come on, come on, come on. Should. Come on, man, how come? Well, anyway, my Zoom's not doing very well, but this is what I'm talking about, a little digital tally counter, right? And this digital tally counter is like the traditional mala or meditation and, uh, you know, chaplet as we call it in French. And I've been using this as I have with the traditional mala for years. And the last two weeks, it hasn't been different. Every day, my life revolves around chanting this maha mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, trying to focus on the sound vibration with the belief, the faith that, that these are names of Krishna or God and that by chanting these names, uh, I'm getting reconnected from the word yoga or yoking. I'm getting reconnected to my source, which is Krishna or God. And, and therefore, I'm, I'm purifying my consciousness, realigning my consciousness with with my original dharma, with my original constitutional nature, which is to love and serve and, and be in a loving relationship with God or Krishna, as opposed to you know, only chasing after temporary uh, pleasures and gains of this temporary world. So I really thank Krishna for this little gadget here, and, and especially not, I mean, the gadget's nice, but the chanting of this mantra is a lifesaver, especially when you don't know exactly where you're going, what decisions you're, you're supposed to make, uh, what direction you're supposed to go in life. Um, the good thing is to have this common denominator of this chanting. So if you haven't done it, if you're not doing it, I highly recommend that, you know, during the day, regardless of morning, evening, whatever, you just chant this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, which, is na which are names of God. And by hearing those names of God, you reconnect with the sonic or sound representation of, of the divine or God. And by doing so, you, you, you remain, you feel that you're like within a divine protection, regardless of what's going to happen to you, you know, tomorrow or the day after. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, until next video, stay strong. And remember, we are much more than our physical bodies and minds.